like I'm playing with Lincoln Logs. I don't know why I needed to tell you guys that though. There's no words in these instructions. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are continuing on with my makeover series. I have been having so much fun seriously doing these types of videos and we are gonna be doing another one today for my bedroom. Disclaimer, before we get into this video anymore, it is extremely windy outside. So if you guys hear any background noise, it's probably from the wind outside. It's finally started to kind of warm up here in Texas, but the wind today is insane so if you guys hear anything it's it's probably the wind outside because it is very very loud and strong today but anyways i am so excited for today's video i'm going to be doing nightstands for our bedroom dag and i went to ikea yesterday and we picked up a couple nightstands that were just like bare pine wood they didn't have anything done with them because i wanted to stain them if you guys haven't seen my previous makeover videos i found an old ikea dresser off of facebook marketplace and i sanded it down refurbished it and stained it the whole thing i'll leave it linked somewhere if you guys want to check it out and see how it came out because I am totally obsessed with it. I'm looking at it right now and I just think it's gorgeous. And so I'm going to kind of do the same thing with these nightstands except they're bare pine. So all I have to do is really stain them. I think I'm going to do the same stain that I did for our dresser just so it's kind of more cohesive and in the same color, but it's just a bare wood, simple nightstand, but we needed something here because right now we don't have anything next to our bed. Like we have a lamp that's sitting on the ground that I use and we put everything on the ground. And now that we have a like bed frame and we have our bed sitting up a little bit higher we're constantly having to like dip down and grab our stuff so it's a little annoying so we just wanted to find some simple nightstands that way it's just easier and that we have something to put our stuff on so this is going to be more of a simple diy it's not even really a diy project it's more of just like a makeover and we're going to do a simple stain and kind of just like wake up these nightstands a little bit i don't know if i'm going to change the knobs on it i'm so bad about like knobs for furniture because i never do it in the same video of when i'm making over the piece of furniture i always like give it a week or two to kind of really think about what I want so right now they're just I think wood knobs so I'm just gonna stain them and then if I want to do like black kind of like my dresser I will but for right now I'm just gonna stain the whole thing and put that together hopefully these uh, nightstands aren't too difficult to put together because Ikea is known for having difficult instructions or missing pieces and just all around being difficult to put furniture together so anyways if you guys haven't subscribed already feel free to do that because we have a lot more DIY projects coming up in the future and that way you guys will know kind of like what I'm doing stuff but Let's get into the video. Mmm, I love the smell of pine. That's the power pine salt, baby. I feel like I'm playing with Lincoln Logs. Well, and we got two of them. Okay, so this is the nightstands that we bought. It's the Tarva kind, just basic plain pine and I'm gonna try and find one of the pieces that I know will be showing and stain it just to see if that's the color that I want because I'm gonna try and stain one part without the wood conditioner and one with because if you guys watched my dresser makeover video I used a wood conditioner underneath that stain and because of it it kind of changed the color of the stain a little bit so I don't really know what it looks like without a conditioner underneath it so I kind of want to test and see if it needs it or not, or if it's gonna be a significant change, because if it's gonna be a significant change, I'll use a conditioner, but if it's not, then I'm not gonna bother. I don't have a wooden stick to stir it in. I don't know where I put them, so when in doubt, use some chopsticks. <laughs> It's been quite some time But you gotta let me know If I'm out of line But there's some words that I just wanna say To put it all straight before this night turns into day 
So I just did two sample strips on the back side of one of the uh, nightstand like drawer cabinets and you guys aren't really gonna be able to tell the difference at all, but I promise I can. So the bottom one has no conditioner on it whatsoever. And you can definitely tell that it's a little bit darker. This top one, I put the conditioner on and then I wiped it off right away. Let it soak in for about, I wanna say like 20 minutes. I think it, the directions say 30, but it's fine. It was dry. And then I uh, put the stain on top of this, wiped it off right after. So it's a tint more warm it's honestly i don't know if the camera is picking it up at all but i notice it and it's just it's literally the the most slightest difference you can't really tell i do notice that this one's a little bit darker and so i think i'm gonna go with the top one with the conditioner just because i don't want my nightstand super dark and this has a more similar tone to the dresser they're they're both identical i put this up to the the dresser upstairs and it looked very very identical but because i'm so ocd and i need everything to be perfect all the time i noticed a little bit of difference this one's just a little bit more neutral because it doesn't have that yellowish uh conditioner underneath it so i think i am going to go with uh the top one i'm gonna have to take a pause on this video because my friend's actually coming over right now we're gonna go to the park because the weather is just so nice outside and we're gonna take her daughter to the park and like bring some snacks and just have a little picnic and enjoy the sun because I need some serious vitamin D today. So I'm gonna go do that and then when I come back, I will precondition all the pieces of wood, let them dry and then get to staining. just washed my hair last night so it's a little crazy with my little side pieces it's getting so long i try not to wash it very often um, just to help maintain it all right so it has been a few days since you guys last saw me the last time i was filming i had stained the pieces for the nightstand and they were drying but i had to take a break since then because for like oh gosh like two three days after i did that texas got extremely cold it still is cold but it was like a high of like 45 50 and then a low of like 20 at night so because of that i wasn't able to finish putting on the top polyurethane i think is what it's called the top coat for protection because when you're using anything from like stains to 
sealants to paints, it has to be a certain temperature outside in order for it to properly like dry and seal correctly. So I haven't been able to do it. I've been like a sitting duck waiting for it to warm up a little bit. And finally, it's supposed to be, I think 65. Oh my gosh, I hope. It's supposed to be a high 59, 60. So I think we can make it work today because it's also a little sunny outside. After I had finished staining them a few days ago, I had waited for them to dry, but because it was so cold, I brought them inside to like dry, dry. I waited for them till it was like dry to touch, but then I brought them inside and the last couple of days, my house has been smelling funky. The fumes weren't like so bad or it's like we're having to walk around in gas masks, but I mean, it was kind of like, not pleasant to smell and it's it's finally toned down so now i can take them outside and whatnot which i would not recommend bringing your projects inside until they fully dried probably not the best for you but none of us die we're okay i just don't know why whenever i do these projects they just get like drawn out way longer than they need to be like this this should have been like a two-day project anyways i think i'm gonna make myself some breakfast real quick because my body is screaming for food. You ever have those mornings where you wake up and your body is just like crying out like it needs food now? I am not always one of those people that can just like linger for hours. Some days I can, but usually when I wake up, I like to eat right away, which actually after doing research, it's it's good for your body if you eat, um, oh, Chance almost had zoomies. <laughs> Sometimes it's actually good for your body if you eat within like 30 minutes of waking up from what I've noticed, especially with your metabolism, rather than trying to continue to fast. It's just me personally not giving out medical advice. I don't know why I needed to tell you guys that though. <laughs> Alrighty, I should probably uh, get things moving. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. pieces laid out here to make the nightstands. I've never made an Ikea furniture piece or put one together before, but I have heard how confusing the instructions are because there's literally no words. There's no words in these instructions. There's just pictures. Like take me back to kindergarten, right? I'm just gonna have to like look at all the screws and hopefully that it matches up with the one in the picture. Are you gonna help me?
I took the drawer back out, but I did notice that I made a little accident, a couple cracks on this side. This wood is so like easy to break. So I think I'm just gonna take some wood glue and just kind of put it over it just to make sure it doesn't crack anymore. But this covers it, but just for my own sanity and it hopefully not breaking anymore. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so it is the next day. I went ahead and brought up our nightstands last night so that we could use them. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what they look like. I think they came out pretty good. I like them. So let me flip the camera around and show you guys how they turned out. Okay, so here is how they came out. Please excuse all the messy cords. We are not good at hiding them. But this is how they came out. I love it so much. Oh, I just love the color and it matches the uh, dresser pretty much, pretty much perfectly. So I think they look great. Just a nice natural wood color. They're not too dark. They still have really good warmth to them. I definitely think that we're going to sell these lamps just because they do not go with the vibe anymore. And what I'm thinking, I have mine on the other side, which by the way, I love that I can just put my little sunrise alarm clock on there. But because of that, since we have more of like a slimmed down theme and the nightstands aren't as big anymore. I think when we move to our next home, I'm wanting to put maybe some pendants on the wall to kind of like hang over. If you guys can like visualize that, maybe like some black or even like, I don't know, like rattan style or rattan. Is that the word you say? Kind of like hanging over that way. We still have space on our nightstands because you, as you can see, like right here, it's just like taking up all the room. There's like no room. So I think some hanging pendants in our next home will be nice. And yes, I really need to, uh, erase that. I don't have any erasers in my home though. Oh, my bad. <laughs> also, I love that this nightstand has a drawer so I can put all my things in there that I don't want to display like my night guard, for instance, and a remote. It's just really nice to have. And then if I want to put anything right here, I can. It's just see-through. So I think it's a great piece. <laughs> I have a little handsome bully behind me. Are you going to be in the video, mama? Or are you going to stare at people out the window? Down. All right, so I love these nightstands. They're so simple and minimal, but it's totally, like I've said in all my previous videos, it just goes with the vibe. They match perfectly with the dress for, dr dress for? dresser. <laughs> and I just love seeing my bedroom start to come together. It's the perfect size too. They're not super big. I mean, it's a complete day and night compared to how my old bedroom furniture was, but I, I love it. It feels just like less cluttered in here too. There's so much more open space and I love that there's a little drawer so I can like put stuff in there if I need to like clean last minute or I just don't want stuff out on my nightstands or on my dresser. I can just put it in the drawer and it keeps everything like clean and organized. Definitely think that when we move, I'm for sure going to do pendants. I think that is the correct move to make. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just, you know, seeing this makeover project. This was a lot simpler than the other two that I've done. If you guys haven't seen those videos where I completely refurbish my Ikea dresser, like I'm talking about strip it, sand it, condition it, restain it, the whole shipping. I will leave that linked below. Same with this headboard. In case you guys didn't know, I made this headboard completely from scratch as well. And I will leave that linked below as well. I have like a DIY makeover series here on my channel now that I'm making more and more videos. So you guys can go check that out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps out when you guys comment, like, subscribe if you want to. It helps with the algorithm. I'm slowly creeping my way up to 1,000. I, I still have a little bit to go, but i um, slowly getting there. So it really helps me out if you guys do that. And that is pretty much it. So Chance and I are going to head out and say goodbye. I think he's done for the day. He's on to like nap number three already. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, bye guys.